Good morning, beloveds. Welcome once again to the Little Baptist Church webpage connection. We hope and trust that you will enjoy the worship experience this morning, and we welcome you to tune in and be a part of us each and every time we come your way. We pray that you'll be blessed and uplifted from this experience on today. Thank you. And a very pleasant good morning to each and every one of you, our brothers and sisters, our beloved members of the Lily Missionary Baptist Church of Montgomery, Alabama, Alabama's capital city, and to all of you, our brothers and sisters who share with us uh, this hour by way of Facebook and YouTube. We always invite the Holy Spirit to guide us and to direct us in our deliberations as we seek to lift up the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus to Christ, uh, who is now and forevermore. And as we move into our celebratory of, uh, season now, we always ask in our beloved members, the church family, to remember members and friends in our midst who have lost loved ones in recent days or weeks. And this week we ask the prayers of our church family for Brother Boris Tucker, Brother Boris Tucker, who lost his brother on this past week. That's Brother Boris Tucker. Let us pray for him and his family. Also let us remember Brother Henry Hill, Brother Henry Hill and family in the loss of his late beloved uh, wife and our late beloved member, Sister Pauline Bunch Hill, uh, who passed on last week. That's the family of the late Sister Pauline Hill, Brother Henry Hill and family. And last but not least, we ask the prayers for one of our senior members and her daughter, uh, Sister Sadie M. Craig and Sister Mary Craig Jenkins, uh, both of whom lost uh, their son and brother respectively in the recent days and we pray for their strength in the Lord as they move forward. That is Sister Sadie M. Craig and her daughter Sister Mary uh, Craig Jenkins in the loss of their son and brother respectively. May God bless each and every one of us and may we be strengthened and reinforced as we move forward uh, in the days ahead. Thank you very much, and amen.
exciting. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank our pastor for the opportunity to share with you today, uh, especially in the times in which we are facing now. Yes, and I think that God has been dealing with my heart and my spirit. And I simply want to share some things with you today that hopefully and prayerfully, God can use that in your lives to make an impact such as they have already in mind. And that is how to be happy in the midst of trouble. Yes, sir. So if we're looking at happy Christians doing trouble times, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say that again, happy Christians during trouble times. All right. And I, I may not be able to hear you, but I'd like for you to repeat that yourself. How can I be happy facing life like life is coming at me right now? Yeah. But those who believe and trust in God today yeah. can be happy in spite of whatever pandemic, it might just be a financial pandemic, but we can still be happy. And I'm going to share that with you. And I, and I pray that God speak to your hearts so that even though we are maybe staying in our homes, we are not visiting like we normally would visit. And many of us may be frustrated and anxiety is coming from all directions. At the same time, there's something that believers have in Christ that it doesn't matter what's externally going on, we can be happy on the inside. And that's yes, we can radiate that happiness to others. All right. Well, let me just say from the scripture reference out of Proverbs, and I'm reading out of the New King James Version, uh, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. Yes. And it says, a merry heart or a happy heart yes. does good like a medicine. Like but a broken spirit dries up the bone. Right. Now that's quite a bit in that, and I just will take just a few seconds to let us know right now that I want everybody that's listening to me, I want you to survey your feelings right now. All right. All right. Not looking at somebody else. But since we are being distanced anyway, why don't we just make sure that we are excited about Jesus in our lives yeah. and we can face everything that comes at us today. We can face it with showing our 32. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes. How to be happy. A merry heart, a happy heart, not a sad heart. For we find in Proverbs 12, uh, the anxiety in the heart of a man causes depression. All right. But a good word makes him glad or makes his heart glad. Yeah. So I want everybody right now to start thinking about something that's positive going on in your life. Yeah. Even though we may experience sad moments, the only way to move sadness is joy. Yeah. And it's most difficult to think about something happy when we're sad. Right. But the life of a believer, the problems that we face is already taken care of through our belief in Jesus the Christ. Yes, Romans 5 and 1 says, we are now therefore justified yeah. by our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I must tell you, everything won't just go the way we want it. Everything will not just be on the flowery beds of ease and because we are Christians or we are followers of Christ. But we do know today that it's our task to think and rethink. So I challenge everybody right now to rethink the last issues that caused you to cry. If you want to go forward, let's take a look backwards at the last experience in your life where you know it was God that brought you through. Yeah. Your last encounter, whether it was a financial encounter, whether it was a health encounter, whether it was a lonely encounter, whatever you recognize that God delivered you, Now that we've gotten that point, yes, sir. 
Not my experience for you, but your experience for you. That if you can rest assured that God has directed you and delivered you, that same God will deliver you in your present state of being. If you're trusting in God, there's no reason for you not to smile right now. I'm going to give you a great big smile because I always like to give a great big smile. I always like to let everybody see my smile. Well, let everybody else that you come in contact with see your smile, even though you may not have all of the money you need, even though you may not have everything that you desire, but God is still delivering you. Yeah. Amen. Well, he's delivering all of us a sad heart. A sad heart brings on this depression, but a good word. Now, I want to say, what one good thing today are you saying to yourself to bring that smile out where sadness had tried to take over? Oh, yeah. Sadness, it's a state of mind, too. It's, it's spiritual. It's a state of being. So right now, you have the, the power to speak to yourselves and, and through the word of God, through inspiration, through knowing that God has delivered you from your last situation, you can speak healing right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He says that I will bless the Lord at all times. And I, I love this for the fact that if you're going to bless God, you're blessing God by blessing your neighbor. All right. By blessing your fellow man. And you're going to bless even your Sales by the simple fact that you're not going to allow any kind of negative to come out of your mouth at any time. Let's just say for the rest of this day, I'm going to give you an examination to take. Under 12 o'clock midnight tonight, we're not going to let anything negative come out of our mouth because if you're going to continuously praise God, there's no time to be negative. All right, all right. Oh, yeah. We have to stop and think before we open our mouths and speak so that we have a chance to make sure that whatever comes out of my mouth is going to be positive and it's coming from a healing kind of spirit. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's plenty going on right now. There's plenty going on right now. There's plenty going on right now that we can complain about. But those who already know that their lives are hid behind the cross, as Colossians chapter 3 indicates to us that I would like Jesus has already died for everything yeah. that we can come in contact. Yes, he's already died for the pandemic episode. We are catching up with the vaccine. All right. But we believe already that God already has his hands in what's going on right now. Yes, oh, he's going to bring us through. We have to trust God before we see what we need and before we have what we want to have. We have to trust God. Yeah. And I'm going to close out with at least three kinds of faith, three kinds of trust All right. that have come up that are very significant with me. And that first one is supreme faith, supreme trust. Now, I like pizza. I don't know how many of y'all like pizza, but that's all kind of pizza. But my main pizza is the Supreme Pizza because it's got some of everything in it. All right. Now, we're going to need that show this off of it, but we're going to have everything else on it. In other words, if we were to get involved in God, involved in Christ, involved in the Word of God, it doesn't matter who we are. God's going to have something for us. He's going to speak to our needs. If you're sad right now, if you get in God's word, you're going to find out that he got something good to say about what we're looking at that's causing us sadness. Yeah. I still, some folk out there still not smiling. I think if you ought to be smiling, if you're in the Lord right now, you ought to have a smile on your face. Not just from what Mitchell is saying, but from looking in your own experience, you can declare that God has delivered you. Yes, sir. And we're excited about that. He's delivering right now. He's not waiting on us to get a date and go back for a second date for the vaccine. He's already blessing us. Supreme faith. Supreme faith. Doesn't matter. When trials come, as we look at Romans 5, 1 through 5, as trials come and we've been justified, you have to make sure that you're in the Lord, yes. that Christ 
is your ultimate answer and solution for everything in life. And we are justified through his blood. Now we have to be all so happy and when things are going good. You know, it's not too hard to find Christians when everything is going well for them to talk well. But just as soon as the water starts running out of the well, as soon as the money starts getting a little low, as soon as health starts getting a little bad, as soon as it starts raining and thundering in our lives and tornadoes start coming, then we want to lose faith. But the Bible says that the trials of our faith work in patience. And you can't make it in life if you don't have some patience. I don't know if you've ever been around anybody that you said, wow, you just short patience. You just don't have no patience at all. But it's one thing we know. We don't just look at situations that happen to us, but we look at the one who holds us in his own hand. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Supreme faith. Supreme faith. And then there ought to be what I consider platinum faith. Platinum. Oh, yeah, you're going up. When I got a car, I got a Murano, but they said it was platinum. I mean, they, yeah, they, they got some other Marauders, but it, they're not all platinum. All right. There ought to be some Christians out there who've gone through some storms in your life. There ought to be believers out there right now who have experienced some heartaches and experienced some sickness and gone through grief and bereavement and still come out and say, I'm going to trust God. Yes, sir. I'm not going to wait till this hand heal up. I'm not going to wait till my body heal up. I'm going to trust him while I'm hurting. Yeah. That's it. Trying on my faith work is patience. And, and patience brings on perseverance. And you got to be able to hang in there. Yeah. You can't give up. We don't give up. Knock us down, we get back up. Yes, sir. Not saying that thing won't happen in our life. Not saying we won't get knocked down, but it won't keep us for the three counts. All right. It won't knock us out for... The tin cap. And as I close, All right. it say unto each one of us that that third faith is hallelujah faith. Hallelujah. Where we're going to praise God. Yes, sir. And if you continuously praising, you can't be fussing. <laughs> if you continuously praising God, you don't have time to be cussing nobody out. All right. If you can continuously praise God, you don't even look at your own condition as sad, but that God is going to deliver me. I thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For this time. Amen. You're the center of
family and my home. You're the source and finish of my highest dream. Oh, I want you to love this interrupt my soul.
Thank you, my beloveds and our friends for sharing our Little Baptist Church Connection broadcast on today. We hope that you've been inspired, uplifted, and of course, we hope that you have gained greater spiritual strength as we face these unpredictable times. We ask that you would join us again real soon, and as always, please watch God change things.